Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. So we are doing a ninth video of the CKAD practice question series. Um, let's get back to the question. Sharing my screen. So ninth question. So this is about deployment uh, and uh, changing the image of the deployment and then uh, making the uh, undo the changes. So uh, let's get started. The first, uh, we need to create a namespace. I think um, uh, one, one, one quick thing, right? I think uh, uh, this is about uh, seven percentage. So seven marks, which is equals to. So let's create the development namespace. So, okay, create NS or namespace development, which is created now. We are going to create the prod deployment what if anything to prod deployment is putting into a namespace called development? That's good. Okay, create deploy our deployment name prod deployment hyphen hyphen image engine X. Um, <clears throat> let's copy engine X. colon and uh, development namespace and uh, replicas four. So let's verify K okay, get deploy prod deployment hyphen and development. So there are four replicas and uh, this has been created. Let's now verify uh, the image. So K describe deploy at any uh, time that you wanted to see something, right? So you feel free to uh, see the solution. So uh, in the GitHub, yeah, K describe deploy prod deployment hyphen and development grab an image. So this is what, uh, so uh, we have created a deployment with prod deployment and then image has been updated to 1.15.9. So now we need to set the image of this particular deployment. So there, there are two, three ways uh, that you can do it. A uh, couple of ways. First thing is you can say, K edit, deploy, prod, deploy, um, and hyphen and development. So if you do that, somewhere you have part template, um, you can pretty much change here and uh, changes will be reflected. And we can also do it with the kubectl set command. For that, you need a container name. So here container name is uh, nginx. So let's go back to the command line. So K set image. If you know this command, this will be straightforward. You don't really have to deal with the AML and then uh, editing the part, uh, the deployment. K set image, uh, deploy or deployment, prod deployment, the name of that. Um, Nginx, uh, which we've seen uh, the name of the container. And again, Nginx. This time, let's take 136 and uh, hyphen and development. So uh, image updated, uh, let's just uh, see the image. So earlier it was 1.15.9, it's now 1.13.6. So you can also see number of revisions, go uh, roll out, QBCTL roll out and uh, status deploy prod deployment hyphen and development. So uh, it successfully rolled out. Um, you can also see the history. It will show you the revisions. So when you wanted to undo the changes, right? See um, history, it will actually um, give you the number of revisions. You can set the revision, uh, that's another thing. Otherwise you can also do uh, undo, which is a simple thing. 
can just say k roll out undo it just undo uh, um, to the previous version you can't really do undo 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 and then it goes to three times if you undo now it just uh, go to um, 150 uh, 159 and then again if you do undo again it will come back to 113.6 so uh, please be noted that you can't really go back uh, three four um, history so only one one undo so click there and then now see the image so we expect it to be 1.15.15 so that is it um, uh, we have done um, with the ninth question but i just wanted to make sure that uh, you get this undo thing right so if i do undo so uh, remember the first image that we've created was 115.9 so that is what it is if i again do undo so it's rolled back if i just go it'll be 113.6 it'll be like back and forth you'll be playing uh, uh, tennis here so uh, our undo only works once um, let's uh, get back to the state that we want so as per the question right so it will be 1.15.9 uh, so this is what we want for the question so thank you so much uh, uh, for um, uh, listening to me until end of the video and uh, any improvements that any suggestions please leave uh, in comments and uh, that is it guys and i uh, hope you've uh, uh, learned something out of this question um bye and uh, happy learning bye